Just when I thought I was out, the Swatch group pulls me back in. Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, the second I saw the Tissot PRX Carbon on Instagram, I kinda knew resistance was futile. I had an immediate flashback to the time I tried on a Zenit uh, DeFi Classic uh, forged in the same material a few years back. The price tag of the rubber strap version was 12 grand, the full carbon bracelet version was 20 grand, and even the salesman thought I was bonkers to even consider it. Uh, and actually, a couple of weeks ago, I saw a couple of uh, those uh, full bracelet uh, carbon uh, zenit uh, at about half their original uh, retail but i did not go for it because granted it was probably a nicer caliber inside and uh, you would have in this uh, tiso it also lacked a dial and a skeletonized dial at my age looks ridiculous on the wrist and here comes tiso whose uh, prx i have bought in the steel version in three different colors I've kept the blue, I'll gift away the black to a nephew, whom I'm sure will be thrilled, and I sold the green dial, which I didn't like that much. Uh, the contrast, steel and green, not for me. Anyway, the PRX, nevertheless, is a mighty cool watch. Whether it's your first nice Swiss watch, or whether you're a seasoned collector, it's got great proportions, the design isn't too edgy, the integration of the strap into the case flows well and gives a nice cuff-like stance on the wrist. The steel models uh, give out a very 70s vibe, which I kind of grew a bit indifferent to after 2-3 years now, but this blackened, carbonized version rekindles instantly, instantly my uh, interest. Alternative materials are a strong trend this year. And forged carbon is uh, bits of carbon mixed with a resin and I suppose uh, pressed into shape of or something of that nature. It's not quite like the carbon fiber that comes in uh, thin indestructible sheets that you find on supercars and uh, Formula Ones. How durable is this particular forged carbon? Will it keep its color? Will it show any damage? I don't know quite yet. Uh, we'll see. It seems smooth and solid. That's all I can tell. Uh, it does save some weight compared to the steel, but do know that the back and the core of this watch are in a steel. So at around 74 grams, the gain is about 15 to 20 grams compared to a full steel case PRX on rubber. Uh, now the strap is really uh, comfortable and uh, looks uh, great. It integrates uh, quite seamlessly uh, into, the, into the case. Displays the uh, hobnail uh, pattern that you find on other PRX dials. I like the look of the, the buckle actually. And uh, the first minder is held on both sides and uh, that typically wandering uh, second minder here is held uh, by uh, two things, both the width of the, the strap, but also a very clever little extra tab that you can push into the uh, excess strap. And it's the first time I see this and I think it's, uh, it's very clever. Once it's a bit tricky to uh, take off and put back on, but once you've done it, it's very secure and uh, this second minder will uh, not uh, move at all. Uh, I'm, my wrist is 17 centimeters. I'm on the uh, third hole. I think uh, it would be great if the brand would offer uh, maybe slightly shorter strap, but it is uh, still uh, fine with most brands. I'm on the last hole, so very cool. And uh, the underside, of course, has the PRX signature. I think it's uh, well done. and. Um, yeah, uh, I've been wearing it uh, for 24 hours. I kept it on at night because it's very light. It's very comfortable. 
and yeah, feels uh, very comfortable. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that hot now in Hong Kong. It's just 20 degrees, so can't really tell how it will be on a sweaty day. But I think it should be okay. Uh, now the dial was uh, surprising, and I can get really, really close uh, for you. There you go. Uh, it is a lot more vivid than uh, what I was uh, expecting. It's uh, almost 3D, uh, like uh, crude brush strokes on a painting, if you will. Uh, and I bet the folks at the Grand Seiko will see this and have uh, visions of uh, Mount Iwate or Lake Sua on a freezing cold dark night. So it's definitely not the uh, carbon fiber geometrical uh, pattern uh, here you see the actual fibers of uh, carbon i suppose and it's totally random so each watch will look different on the dial and on the case uh, so technically uh, every prx carbon is unique uh, the shapes uh, reflect the, the the light a lot so the dial is uh, quite animated more than i normally care for personally and it was almost reason enough for me not to buy the watch, but I decided to give it a chance anyway, because the whole package is just so attractive. Um, before I forget, the watch is just a little bit over 40 millimeters in diameter, and the height is only uh, a notch above 11 uh, millimeters. Uh, the rest of the appointments, uh, under the sapphire crystal uh, are similar to the other prx models uh, i'm quite indifferent to the style of the, uh, the straight uh, baton hands but i do like a lot that the uh, minute track is printed onto the dial rather than uh, featured on uh, some sort of a disc around it which is something i despise in watches uh, the date is uh, nicely framed and is uh, white on the black background thankfully so i would say that this watch is uh is, is one step above uh, the the swatch uh, groups uh, swatch scuba you know the uh, collab uh, with uh, the blanc pain uh, 50 fathoms uh, i also incidentally uh, bought one of those in uh, in black when it was released when uh, swatch decided that there was a fifth uh, ocean uh, to feature for these watches um, you know, I had bought a couple of uh, the original ones and uh, I kind of lost interest in them pretty quickly. And it's the black one that I really come back to. It's really the color that I wanted from the, from the, the beginning. And I think uh, here we have a watch. It's not quite black, actually. It's more like gray, which uh, is better. It will marry with more outfits, uh, I suppose. Um, yeah, I think uh, this uh, design, this color as well, and the interest in the material will keep the watch more interesting. Uh, now the watch is 100 meters of water resistance and it has an automatic mechanical caliber. Now I would argue that owners of more expensive timepieces might as well opt for a PRX uh, quartz version since the uh, Powermatic AT isn't much to look at and after all it's, uh, it's the looks that draw the enthusiasts to the, the PRX. But for a young collector, then having your first uh, automatic uh, caliber adds to the thrill, especially since the watch remains thin, as I mentioned. The Powermatic 80, as the name indicates, will run for 80 hours if you put the watch away fully wound. Uh, if you're going to wear it every day, I see no reason why you wouldn't really uh, then this longer power reserve is a bit wasted especially since they reduce the beat rate uh, of the uh, ancestor caliber the eta 2824 caliber from eight to uh, six beats per second to allow this longer power reserve so the uh, seconds hand uh, flows just a tad less smoothly anyway you get two years of a warranty so uh, no worries here tso will uh, most likely drop in a replacement caliber since the cost of servicing is probably more in man hours than the cost of manufacturing the caliber at this point uh, not a worry they're all the same and i doubt any human touches any part of it it features uh, by the way um, uh, anti-magnetic uh, silicium uh, or silicone, silicium, 
uh, balance spring uh, so you're good to pass any airport security and uh, rest your hand on your laptop without risking to magnetize the, the watch it's also more resistant to uh, differences in uh, temperature uh, also many enthusiasts uh, note that uh, the previous Powermatic 80 feature the plastic parts uh, while this version uh, apparently uh, doesn't so very cool uh, maybe whatever to be honest um, the bottom of the dial uh, says uh, Swiss made uh, which means it meets the uh, designation standards uh, which doesn't mean everything is made in Switzerland uh, but hey consumers get to enjoy all this for a thousand bucks and uh, we won't complain too much about that uh, so there you go guys uh, you know a bit everything you need to know uh, i knew everything i needed to know the second i saw this on instagram it was uh, immediately uh, love at first sight very cool that they can propose this at such a good price and uh, the design is just great it's actually uh, very similar to the design of uh, that uh, zenith uh, defi classic which has been abandoned by uh, the zenith brand unfortunately uh, so uh, even a better reason to uh, to get yourself one of those uh, Tissot PRX. Uh, I'm really uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. And uh, yeah, it's funny off. It doesn't matter uh, how big your collection is. You can really enjoy uh, watches at all price points. And uh, that's certainly the case here. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you love the PRX, uh, give the video a like. Uh, bye bye, guys.